All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be going over sample question one from the Society of Actuaries exam P set of sample questions they posted online. So the first question states, a survey of a group's viewing habits over the last year revealed the following information, and they give us uh, seven different uh, pieces of information. 28% watched gymnastics, 29% watched baseball, 19% watched soccer, 14% watched gymnastics and baseball, 12% watched baseball and soccer, 10% watched gymnastics and soccer, 8% watched all three sports. Then we're asked to calculate the percentage of the group that watched none of these three sports during the last year. Now, this is a super easy question. If you haven't done so already, I suggest you uh, try the question out yourself before viewing the solution. Okay, so let's take a look at how to do this. Now, in general, I think um, a lot of these problems uh, can be more easily understood visually. So I just prefer drawing a diagram, whether that be a graph or an actual, in this case, a Venn diagram. So I'm gonna kind of draw out my sample space of all the different possibilities of viewer, right? So somebody could watch gymnastics right there. Somebody could watch baseball or they could watch gymnastics and baseball, right? They aren't uh, mutually exclusive uh, as given by the information here or they could watch soccer. And then anything outside in this, anything outside of the uh, circles in the square would obviously be people that watched none of them. Okay, uh, and you'll see why this diagram is helpful in just a second, but let's start filling it in. So 28% watch gymnastics and that happens to include not only this section, which would be the people that watch gymnastics and only gymnastics, but all of these sections combined. So I'm not sure exactly where to put that number. Because of that, I kind of want to start from the bottom end. 8% watched all three sports. So I'm going to put a 0 0.08 there. All right. So now I'm going to just check off that piece of information. 10% watched gymnastics and soccer. That means these two sets, the intersection of them, should be 10% or 0.1. Meaning in order for this whole thing to be 0.1, this must be 0 0.02. And hopefully you're starting to kind of see a pattern here, right? Those that watched soccer and baseball, that's 12%, 0 0.12, meaning uh, 0 0.08 minus 0 0.12 is 0 0.04. Uh, and gymnastics and baseball is 14%, right? So uh, it's going to be 0 0.14 minus 0 0.8 which uh, should be 0 0.06. All right, now we can go back to our top three pieces of information. So I'm just gonna check these off as having been done. So 19% watch soccer right here. So this whole circle should add up to 0.19. So I'll just grab, just to make sure I don't get the calculations wrong in my head, the old uh, TI30X, which Definitely is my calculator recommendation for the exam P exam. Uh, and I'll do, okay, 0.19 minus, uh, we're doing soccer, right? 0 0.02 minus 0 0.08 minus 0 0.04. That gets me 0 0.05. So uh, 0 0.05 or 5% of all viewers watch soccer and only soccer, right? That might seem like I'm kind of saying, I'm kind of over explaining it, but I really want it to be clear what each section of this Venn diagram is. Now I'm going to do the same thing for baseball and gymnastics. So 29% of people watched baseball, 0.29 minus these parts, because I just want the people that only watched baseball. And that's going to be uh, minus 0.06, minus 0.08, minus 0.04. And that gets us 0.11, 11%. Doing the same thing with gymnastics, and that gets us 0.28 um, minus 0.02, minus 0.08, minus 0.06, and that gets us 0 
Okay. Now what we're looking for is those that watched none of them. All right, we've put in all our information. We're looking for how many people are outside here. Now, this is where the most basic rule in probability comes in, right? This question is a question on general probability and, and you know fundamental rules. The most basic rule is that the probability of your sample space must be one, okay? So all of these probabilities here need to sum to one. Now I have every single spot filled in except for one of them. That is very easy to solve for. So one should be equal to, and I'll just set this equal to X, right? The uh, percentage of the group that watched none of the sports will be equal to X. So X plus 0.05, plus 0.12, plus 0.11, plus 0.06, plus 0.02, plus uh, 0.04, plus 0.08. All right, I'm just gonna real quick add that up. So, plus 0.12, plus 0.11, plus 0.06, plus 0.02, plus 0.04, plus 0.08. And that gets me x plus 0 0.48. The reason I don't already have this solved out is because I want you to see me actually work through the problem rather than just explain it, right? Having really looked at it beforehand and stuff like that. Now, from here, all I have to do is simple algebra, right? Bring it over to the other side. One minus the uh, 0.48 should get me a value of x equals 0.52, or 52%, which happens to line up with answer choice D. Okay, if there are any questions, you can throw it down in the comments. I'll you know answer them to the best of my ability. Um, and if you want to check out another video, I should have the, you know, another sample problem up on my channel, All right? Um, but other than that, good luck, guys.